Isma'u, listen. A good house, a good house is when the man focuses on the tarbiyah of his wife and his children. We were speaking about this when we were driving to D.C. last night, Ya Ikhwan. Myself first. I'm speaking to myself too, Barakallahu Feek. That we focus getting with the brothers. MashaAllah, Jayid. The suhba is good. We need to be around the brothers. Right? We need to be around each other because the love increases in this manner. But be around each other in legislated manners. Be around each other at Salatul Dhuhr, in the masjid, in Salatul Jama'ah. Be around the brothers, Salatul Fajr, and Dhuhr, and Asr, and Maghrib, and Isha. You come, you should see all the brothers. Give salams. Bring some gifts. It opens the heart, Ya Ikhwan. It makes you love each other. Wallahi ya ikhwan, wallahi uqsumu billahi. Right? Allahu jalla wa ala, he's al-hakim. Al-hakim that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has opened up my time. I haven't been this happy in years, ya ikhwan. My wife says it to me, my books, right now they're sitting in my daughter's closet. My daughter has a walk-in closet, right? So I have boxes and boxes of books. And I have a small house, and my daughters, like if I'm sitting somewhere preparing, every two seconds, Baba, Baba, Baba. So the place I, I study sometimes is my daughter's closet. Because it's a walk-in closet, and I just sit there. But, wallahi, it makes, it makes a person feel good to see his brothers in Islam. It makes me happy. I'm coming for Fajr. No, I'm, I'm, coming, to, I'm coming to a Salafi masjid for Fajr, Right? Not praying at one of the Hizbi masajid. I texted the brother one day. I went to a Hizbi masjid to pray. Isha time. And I walk in. Big masjid. Big humongous masjid. Right? I'm the only one there. Oh. Only one there. Sitting there. I'm thinking, okay, what do I do now? Do I give the adhan? Do I give the iqama? What do I do? Right? So it makes me happy to come here. Ya ikhwan. Don't forsake your families for that. The first thing wajib upon you is your wife. The first wajib upon you is your sons and your daughters. They are ni'mah min Allah. Wallahi ya ikhwan, your wife is a ni'mah min Allah. Take her away from your life. Think about what you would have. But, many of us complain, right? My wife, wallahi, she doesn't do this. She doesn't do this. First thing ya ikhwan, from where was the woman created? From the rib, right? What did the Messenger of Allah say? Don't try to straighten it. It'll break. It'll break. This is umuman. Umuman, right? We're talking generally, barakallahu feekum. Because then there was from the women, those that were, the men cannot reach their status. Right? Maryam alayhi salam. Asiya alayhi salam. Khatija radiallahu ta'ala anha. Right? Aisha, Fatima, the wives of the Prophet But the tarbiyah, it's upon you. And I can't enforce this enough, Ya Ikhwan. I can't put this out there enough. You will be asked about that Yawm Al-Qiyamah. You're going to be asked about it, Yawm Al-Qiyamah. Because Allah has obligated upon you, O anfusakum wa ahlikum nara. Save yourselves and your families from the fire. So, he began, Barakallahu Fikum, with Abi, his father. And he said to his father, Barakallahu Fikum, So he says, وَإِذْ إِبْرَاهِيمُ لِيَبِيهِ آزَرَ أَتَتَّخِذُ أَصْنَامًا آلِهَا Are you taking idols as deities, as items of worship? Indeed, I see you and your people in clear misguidance. And in this manner we showed 
Ibrahim the kingdom of the heavens and the earth so that he can be from those that have yaqeen yani they have surety in their iman they have surety in their iman right min shurut la ilaha illallah ish al yaqeen al yaqeen you should have surety in la ilaha illallah surety in la ilaha illallah so that he can be from those that have yaqeen falamma janna alayhi al layl so when the night covered him the jann yani janna this word janna right jim noon with tashdeed janna if you look at the words that come from this you will find there are those things that you don't see the jinn you don't see them janna you don't see it janin yani the baby in the stomach you don't see it so janna alayhi al layl the night covered him yani it was darkness so the night falamma janna alayhi al layl that when the night covered him ra'a kawkaba he saw a star qala hadha rabbi he said this is my lord did he really think it was his lord tayyib don't go by what the ikhwan say. For some reason the ikhwan, they love speaking down about everyone. Uthman radiyallahu ta'ala anhu wal iyadu billah, Maududi. Right? Maududi. He wrote a book in which he blamed the fall of the khilaf on who? Whose fault was it? Uthman wal iyadu billah. It was Uthman's fault. Wal iyadu billahi ta'ala. They speak about, and he, subhanallah. When he saw the star, he said, Hada Rabbi, this is my Lord. The Shaykh, he explains, Barakallahu Fikum in, from Al Munadra, yani, a debate, Barakallahu Fikum. To debate them. Not, not that he really thought the star was his Lord, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided him from before, Barakallahu Fikum. Did the Messenger of Allah ever worship idols? No. La, qat, never in his life did he worship idols, Barakallahu Fikum. Always worship Allah Jalla wa'ala. His iman was in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The same is the case of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Didn't worship idols. Didn't worship. Didn't think the star was actually his God, but it was from debate, barakallahu feekum. To establish proof upon his people. 